गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन वेलकम बैक इन माई चैनल डॉक्टर सत्येंद्र कुमार डियर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ वीडियोज रिलेटिव टू मैथमेटिक्स फॉर हायर लेवल देन यू नीड टू सब्सक्राइब शेयर एंड लाइक माई वीडियोज एंड माई चैनल टूडे वी डिस्कस कन्वर्जेंसिटी ऑफ इनफाइनाइट सीरीज नाउ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड नाउ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन बेस्ड ऑन सेकेंड टेस्ट कॉसी रूट टेस्ट प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन कॉसी रूट टेस्ट प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट टेस्ट द सीरीज टू टू द पावर टू अपॉन वन टू द पावर टू माइनस टू अपॉन वन होल पावर माइनस वन प्लस थ्री टू द पावर थ्री टू पावर थ्री माइनस थ्री अपॉन टू होल पावर माइनस टू प्लस फोर पावर फोर अपॉन थ्री पावर फोर माइनस फोर बाई थ्री होल पावर माइनस थ्री प्लस अप टू डाउन Now to test the series, the series is convergent or divergent. Now, nth term can be written as nth term of the series can be written as the first term of the series two, three, four. The nth term of the two, three, four is n plus one. now denominator 1 2 3 that is n whole power 2 3 4 that is n plus 1 minus 2 3 4 nth term is n plus 1 upon 1 2 3 that is n plus n whole power 1 2 3 that is n since in ap the nth term of the series can be written as tn equal a plus n minus 1 into d we have a first term of AP and D common ratio, common factor. Now, in AP, we can calculate nth term by the formula a plus n minus one into D. Now, my by C A U C H Y cos e root test, we apply cos e root test because the uh, U N whole power is very great. That is in terms of N. Then we can apply. Cauchy and nth root test. The Cauchy and nth root test. This is equal to U n whole power one upon n limit n tending to infinity equal to limit n tending to infinity. This is equal to n plus one upon n power n plus one minus n plus one upon n whole power. 
माइनस एन और पावर वन अपॉन एन एन इज कैंसिल बाई दिस दिस इज इक्वल टू तो कॉमन ऑन दिस देन वी कैन कैलकुलेट वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन होल पावर एन प्लस वन और माइनस वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन होल पावर माइनस वन वी कैन कॉमन देन वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन होल पावर एन प्लस वन द कॉमन टर्म एन टू दी पावर एन प्लस वन और कॉमन टर्म एन टू दी पावर एन प्लस वन बोथ आर कैंसिल इन दिस केस एन कॉमन एन कॉमन देन टेकिंग वी गेट वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन एन कैंसिल बाई दिस एन नाउ कॉमन द बोथ टर्म वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन कॉमन वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन कॉमन होल पावर माइन में देन कॉमन टर्म इन डिनोमिनेटर देन देन वी गेट दिस वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन होल पावर एन माइनस वन होल पावर माइनस वन और लिमिट एन टेंडिंग टू इन्फिनिटी एज इट दिस इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस जीरो डेट इज ई माइनस वन होल पावर माइनस वन दिस इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ई माइनस वन दिस इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू माइनस सेवन वन पॉइंट एट माइनस वन दिस इक्वल टू वन अपॉन वन माइनस सेवन वन पॉइंट ऑलवेज लेस देन वन देन बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द कॉसी रूट टेस्ट we can say series is convergent now second problem problem is test the series nth term is 1 plus 1 upon n whole power minus n square answer the nth term of the series is given 1 plus 1 upon n whole power minus n square since the whole power of u n is very great in terms of n then we can apply by cosy root test cosy root test the un whole power 1 upon n limit n tending to infinity is equal to 1 plus 1 upon n whole power minus n square 1 upon n limit n tending to infinity this is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon n whole power n limit n tending to infinity this is equal to the value of e less than 1 by cosy root test series will be convergent now problem third test the series summation n equal 1 to infinity n plus 1 n n at the term of the uh, test the series n x upon n plus 1 whole power n answer since u n is given n x upon n plus 1 whole power n then by cosy root test u n whole power 1 upon n limit n tending to infinity 
this is equal to limit n tending to infinity n x upon n plus 1 power n whole power 1 upon n we apply cos nth root test due to the, uh, the power of u n is very large in term of n and by cancel this then this is equal to limit n tending to infinity taking common n that is x upon n 1 plus 1 upon n and by cancel this this is equal to x if x greater than 1 series is therefore series is divergent less than 1 series is convergent equal to 1 test fail test fail that is at x equal to 1 we try again the convergency of the series at x is equal to 1 that is u n again n into 1 upon n plus 1 whole power n is equal to n whole power n common n 1 plus 1 upon n whole power n this is cancelled by this u n limit n tending to infinity by the first test 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon n whole power n and tending to infinity we get 1 upon e not equal to 0 then series is divergent that is we can say the final result of the series if x is less than 1 series is convergent or if x greater or equal to 1 series is divergent now next problem problem number 4 test the series one plus x by two plus x square upon three square plus x cube upon four cube plus up to dot. Answer: We can write u n that is the nth term of the series. The nth term of the series can be written as except 1. Or take when except 1, then we get nth term, the power of x, 1, 2, 3, that is nth term as to the power n. In denominator 2, 3, 4, that is n plus 1. Whole power 1, 2, 3, that is n. that is un whose whole power in terms of very large in terms of n then we can apply by cosy root test limit and tending to infinity un whole power 1 upon n this is equal to limit and tending to infinity x to the power n n plus 1 whole power n or whole power 1 upon n this is equal x upon n plus 1 limit n tending to infinity x upon infinity plus 1 this is equal to 0 less than 1 this series is Convergent. Now problem next. Five problem. Test the three. Summation n is equal to one to infinity. A plus x upon n whole power. 
n by cos nth root test u n whole power 1 upon n limit n tending to infinity this is equal to limit n tending to infinity a plus x by n whole power n or whole power 1 upon n this is equal to limit n tending to infinity a plus x upon n this is equal to a plus 0 that is a if a greater than 1 series is divergent if a less than 1 the series is convergent if a equal to 1 the test fail now at a equal to 1 then u n equal 1 plus x upon n whole power n now using first formula limit n tending to infinity first test this is equal to 1 plus x upon n whole power n into x upon x. x by cancel this. There is no effect of this. Limit n tending to infinity. The value of 1 plus x by n whole power n by x and tending to infinity. We get well, this is the value of e. This is equal to e to the power x not equal to 0. Now by first test the series is divergent that is the confirm answer of this series a less than 1 the series is convergent or if a greater or equal to 1 the series is divergent this is the complete solution next problem problem number 6 test the series summation n equal 1 to infinity 1 plus 1 upon under root n whole power minus n to the power 3 by 2 negative n whole power 3 by 2 answer un is 1 plus 1 upon under root n whole power minus n power 3 by 2 the power of un is very large in terms of n then apply cosy root test cosy root test limit n tending to infinity un whole power 1 upon n this is equal to limit n tending to infinity 1 plus 1 upon under root n whole power minus n power 3 by 2 whole power 1 upon n this is equal to 1 plus 1 upon under root n whole power minus n n to the power 1 upon 2 limit n tending to infinity limit n tending to infinity 1 upon 1 plus under root n whole power under root n by under root the quantity will be converted in denominator then we get this value of this 1 upon e less than 1 1 upon e less than 1 so 3 is easy. convergent 3 is 
कन्वर्जन नाउ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन कंपेरिजन टेस्ट दिस इज द थर्ड टेस्ट प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट टेस्ट द श्री एनथ टर्म इज अंडर रूड एन स्क्वायर प्लस वन माइनस एन आंसर यू एन इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूड एन स्क्वायर प्लस वन माइनस एन वी मल्टीप्लाइड एंड डिवाइड अंडर रूड एन स्क्वायर प्लस वन प्लस एन अंडर रूड एन स्क्वायर प्लस वन प्लस एन then we get n square plus 1 minus n square upon under root n square plus 1 plus n and we cancel this now un equal to 1 upon now taking common n then we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon n square under root This is the common of n. We get one. This is equal to one plus one upon n square whole power. We put it do one by two. Now this is the confirmed value of u n. Then we can take subsidiary uh, or auxiliary n term of the series. Say v n. This is equal to one upon n. This is small part of part of the n term un we say vn is equal to 1 upon n now un upon vn this is equal to 1 plus under root 1 plus 1 upon n square now taking limit and tending to infinity both side this is equal to 1 upon 1 plus under root 1 plus 0 this is equal to 1 upon 2 Finite. Now, v n equal one upon n compared by one upon n to the power p. That is, p is equal to one. Now, summation v n is divergent. Imply summation u n is divergent. Imply series is divergent. Now second problem. Test the series whose nth term is under root n to the power four. Plus one minus under root n to the power four minus one. Answer: Since u n is equal to under root n to the power four plus one minus under root power four minus one. Now divide and multiply under root n to the power four plus one plus under root n to the power four minus one. This is divide and multiply. Now we get uh, uh, in. This case, this is equal to square minus this is equal to square. Now n to the power four cancel by n to the power four, or one plus one is equal to two. Now 
this is the un value of this three now un is equal to 2 upon we can take the common n to the power 4 now n square 1 plus 1 upon n to the power 4 under root plus under root 1 plus 1 minus sorry 1 minus 1 upon n to the power 4 now we take 1 upon n square is the auxiliary nth term of the three say vn now un upon vn equal 2 upon under root 1 plus 1 upon n to the power 4 plus under root 1 minus 1 upon n to the power 4 taking limit n tending to infinity both side this is equal to 2 upon under root 1 plus 0 plus under root 1 minus 0 this is equal to 2 upon 2 that is 1 is a finite now vn is equal to 1 upon n to the power 2 compared by 1 upon n to the power p p equal to greater than 1 imply 3 is convergent now next problem test the series problem number 3 test the series Fourteen upon one to the power three plus twenty four upon two to the power three plus thirty four upon three to the power three plus up to ten, ten up to doubt ten n plus four upon n cube. Answer since u n equal ten n plus four upon n to the power three. Now taking common in numerator n or 10n to 1 plus 2 upon 5n upon n to the power 3 n cancel by n to the power 3 this is equal to 10 1 plus 2 upon 5n upon n square this is the confirmed value of un we take vn 1 upon n to the power 2 now un upon vn limit n tending to infinity then we get 10 into 1 plus 2 upon 5n this is equal to 10 1 plus 0 this is equal to 10 this is equal to finite quantity now vn compared 1 upon n to the power p therefore p equal to 2 greater than 1 implies series is convergent now next problem yeah, problem number 4 test the series nth term is number first under root n square plus 1 minus n upon n to the power p number second n to the power p upon n plus 1 whole power p plus q number third 2n plus 1 upon n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3. Answer. First, un equal under root n square plus 1 minus n upon n to the power p.
now multiplied and divide n square plus 1 plus n upon under root n square plus 1 plus n. Now n square plus 1 minus n square upon taking n common. Now we get n to the power p plus 1 or this is equal to 1 plus under root 1 plus 1 upon n square. This cancel by this. Now un equal 1 upon n to the power p plus 1 plus 1 upon under root 1 plus 1 upon n square. Now we get auxiliary n term of the series vn is equal 1 upon n to the power p plus 1. Now un upon vn this is we get 1 upon 1 plus under root 1 plus 1 upon n square. Now taking limit n tending to infinity both sides then we get 1 upon 1 plus under root 1 plus 0 this is equal to 1 upon 2 that is finite now vn equal compared by 1 upon n to the power p where vn 1 upon n to the power p plus 1 where p is small or compared p is greater now therefore capital P equal P plus 1 is greater than 1 that is P greater than 0 now series is convergent series is convergent P plus 1 lesser than 1 that is P less than 0 implies series is divergent or P plus 1 P plus 1 less equal to 1 that is P is equal to 0 implies series is divergent series is divergent imply final result can be written as p is greater than 0 series is convergent and p lesser or equal to 0 series is divergent now second part un equal n to the power p upon n plus 1 whole power p plus q now n to the power p upon taking common n p plus q upon 1 upon 1 upon n whole power p plus q this cancel by this this is equal to 1 upon n to the power q or 1 plus 1 upon n whole power p plus q this is the confirmed un then we can take auxiliary n at term vn equal 1 upon n to the power q now un upon vn we get 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon n whole power p plus q now taking the limit n tending to infinity both side then we get 1 upon 1 plus 0 whole power p plus q this is equal to 1 this is equal to finite now vn 1 upon n to the power q compared by 1 upon n to the power p In, therefore p is equal to q if that is q greater than 1 series is convergent or q lesser or equal to 1 series is divergent now third part 
given u n this is equal to two n plus one upon n plus one, n plus two, n plus three. Now common to n in numerator, then we get one upon one up uh, one plus one upon two n. Now taking common n n n n cube one plus one upon n one plus two upon n. 1 plus 3 upon n, n cancelled by n q. This is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1 upon 2n, that is n square 1 plus 1 upon n, 1 plus 2 upon n, 1 plus 3 upon n. This is the confirmed value of un. Now we take vn equal 1 upon n square. Now un upon vn equal 2 into 1 plus 1 upon 2n upon 1 plus 1 upon n 1 plus 2 upon n 1 plus 3 upon n taking limit n tending to infinity both side then we get 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 is equal to 2 it is a finite quantity now Vn equal to 1 upon n square compared by 1 upon n to the power p. Now p is equal to 2 greater than 1 implies region convergent. This is the complete solution.